This is the solution to written homework 17. <clears throat> the plot of a function f is provided below. So notably in this exercise, f is some of the time positive and some of the time negative. So there are three distinct areas. This red area, a piece of a, tri a, a triangle this green area, half of a circle, and this blue area. A triangle. So because F is positive, in this region, that means that the integral reckons this area as positive. And because f is negative in this region, it means that the integral rep reckons this green area, this circular, semicircular area, as negative. And because f is positive in this region, the integral reckons this area as positive. So we can find the area of each piece. So the area of this piece will be base is 3 times height is 2. And then over 2. So the red tri triangle has area 3. The circle <coughs> is a circle of radius 2 and it's half of a circle so it will be 1 half pi multiplied by 2 squared so that's 4 pi over 2 so that's 2 pi and then this triangle is base times height so that's 3 times 4 over 2 so that's 6 <coughs> So those are the individual areas in the grade school reckoning. So the integral from 0 to 10 sees this as 3, because that one is positive and then minus 2 pi because that one is negative and then plus 6 so that would be 9 minus 2 pi then the absolute value <coughs> of f has the effect of reflecting all the negative parts of f to the positive side of the y-axis. So the function that we're, that's being integrated here now looks like this. Just a rough sketch. So this integral will reckon all of these areas as being positive. So this would be 3 plus 2 pi plus 6. So that would be 9 plus 2 pi. <clears throat> 